This Museum Connect video is inspired by the objects donated to the Salisbury Museum by Jim Smith. Now some of those relate to his time as a prisoner of war in Japan, some to his time as the owner of the little junk shop in Salisbury, and also to his time as a children's author. You can watch part one of this video to find out more about Jim and hear from his son, Ken Smith. In this video, local artist Sophia Sample is going to show you the work she created inspired by the objects that Jim left to us. And then she's going to show how you as a family can create your own artwork inspired by the postcards that Jim sent home. We're interested for you to send us photographs of what you do as you make a postcard that represents your family, the places, spaces and things that are important to you. At the end of the video, we'll show you how you can share those with us. And we're particularly interested to hear from you if you too have a connection to the military. Hello, my name's Sophia and I'm an artist from Salisbury and I've been asked by the museum to create a new artwork based on some of the objects at the museum that used to belong to Jim Smith. I was really interested to learn about Jim's life because my own great grandfather Cecil was also a Japanese prisoner of war uh, in a camp not that far from Jim. So we know that they would have had really similar experiences during the war. When Jim and Cecil were in the army, one of the only ways of staying in contact with your family was to send postcards. The postcards normally had just short messages, just telling um, their families that they were okay, um, telling them that they were missing them, but some of Jim's also had drawings on them. So when uh, the prison guards in the camp uh, realised that Jim was a really good artist, they would supply him with blank postcards and get him to paint their portraits. Uh, and we know that in exchange for these pictures, the guards would give him extra food. So they'd give him eggs, they'd give him tins of fish. And it's this extra food that really helped him to survive. So these postcards really help us to learn a little bit more about what their lives were like. Um, but that, that was only one part of their lives. Um, so I wanted to make an artwork about a, a different time in Jim's life, a happier time. And when I look at photos of Jim, uh, I think he looks happiest in his junk shop. Many years after he left the army, he opened a junk shop in Salisbury. It sell, sold all sorts of things. Uh, lots of people in Salisbury still remember going into his junk shop uh, and, and meeting him in there. He, uh, even later in his life, wrote a series of children's books, which he also did all the drawings for. You could go into his junk shop and you could buy the book and he would sign it for you in there. So to remember this happier time in Jim's life, I decided I would make a painting that recreates uh, the junk shop sign that was above the door. now we'd like you to be inspired by Jim's life and creativity. We'd like you to make a postcard that represents you and your family. So what you're going to need is some white card, some scissors and some glue. Cut out a piece of white card in roughly the shape of a postcard. Then have a look around your house, see what else you've got that might be able to help you. Tissue paper, coloured card, materials, paints, pencils. And then think about whether you've got any pictures that might represent your family people and places and memories. I've already started to have a go and here's Sophia to help you a little bit more. You can decorate this any way you like. So this is one that I made earlier and it has got um, some pictures of Jim Smith. So here he is as a young man. We also have him as a bit of an older man here when he um, owned his junk shop. I've used some pictures um, that he actually drew. So this picture of the ship um, I have used that in the background and we've also got some text up here that was um, on some of his postcards. But this is your chance for you to create anything you like. So you could um, cut out some pictures of yourselves, some pictures of your family, maybe places you've lived. Um, it could be some images of um, things that you really love, maybe um, your favourite sport or your favourite thing to do. So now all there is is for you to get your ideas together, perhaps write a list of the things that are important to you and your family, and then get cracking with your postcard. And when you've finished, as I nearly have, um, we want you to take a photograph of it as close up as possible and send it to the email address at the bottom of the screen. 
here's a deadline for you. We're going to share the images of the postcards that people send us across our social media in January 2021. So get your photographs to us by Christmas this year. When you're sending the email, if you'd like to hear about some family consultation sessions that we're running in 2021, where you'll be able to come to the museum, hopefully, and get involved in our ideas of how we redevelop our history of Salisbury galleries, then just let us know in the email and we'll make sure that we keep you involved and up to date. We can't wait to see what you've been creating. Get sending those emails and thanks so much for watching. Our